Hey everybody, welcome. It's your boy OXD, and we're back for another episode of Fallout 76. Now, the screen looked a little different. I went ahead and I um, bought the Fallout first, uh, like pass for a month. Uh, what it is, this is this here. So, uh, Fallout First is a premium membership that provides benefits, including playing a private world exclusively for you and up to seven friends. But I haven't had any friends to play with. I, mean, I got people that I, excuse me, added to my friend list, right? But I don't have friends, like normal friends that would play this, that like outside of the game space. So, it says a scrap box container with unlimited storage for crafting components. Now, I can tell you, we had a, what is called a, uh, a, a a trial version of this and this is what got me to get this so i only got it for like one month uh i only had it for like two three days so far so i think two days i bought it on saturday i believe saturday. um and i use it mainly for the scrap storage because the regular storage you get only got 1200 um weight in the storage box and, and use and me i'm the person i scrap everything like i scrap 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 because i needed to like make stuff and build stuff so a placeable survivor tent with uh first tr with fast travel points stash sleeping bag and more for basic needs now this is just the regular survivor tent now this thing actually helps because i was in like a nuclear zone and, and we were like fighting like a boss it was kind of like uh like an in-game boss so awesome to want to say this so i'm already past level 50 i'm in like 60 something i think because i, I went ahead and i'll I kind of like grind it out um because last time i think from the last episode you're going to see that i'm at level like 40 something 41 44 i think we end the episode on 40 40 something i can't remember so that video should be up on tuesday that's that, that video should already been up on tuesday so this one should be probably friday's video so today should be friday when you guys get this video because i'm very busy so i'm doing videos ahead of time that's a viral tick awesome now i'm not trying to sell you this because it's 12 dollars a month but only paid to it on one time just for one month just to see how I like it as I play throughout the, throughout the month. Now, you shouldn't get this unless you know for a fact that you're going to play a lot. So I, I want to make this like a, a weekly thing that I do at least put out two two videos of Fallout because I really love Fallout. So, And you get a, get 1,650 atoms per month to use in an atomic shop. So I, as you've seen, I had like 100 or something. I didn't use most of these already. I bought a couple lunch boxes to be able to boost my XP while I'm grinding or whatever when i'm in like a group a daily mission or if i'm finding like a boss that's how i got to the high level I, as i got to so far. i popped like two or three of them from the atoms that they give me and it said exclusive ranger outfit i got the outfit but i'm only wearing wearing the wearing the actual jacket suit thingy actually i'm not wearing the helmet because i got a big big head on wait a minute like a big goblin head all right so this is the private world i haven't used my private world yet I'll probably use it randomly, probably with a, with a new character. I might do is just start doing something different with like a side character for like the content I don't know yet. But if I am to keep this every month for for however long, we'll see. The armor thing is okay. It's not really, you know, it's just that's how it looks because it's from Fallout New Vegas or whatever. Anyway, so I am happy that you're here. And if you have time, I hope you have time, you go ahead and smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel because it would be great um, to have new people here. I am not monetized yet, but I'm looking to get there. I think I'm at, I'm on, I got 44 subs. Trying to get to 100, that'd be great. All right, I'm going about your business. Anyway, so this is my new outfit. Still got my goblin head on, but, and, I, and I got a new backpack. So I bought this from the Atomic Shop. It's just a new skin for it. Let's go ahead and go to my stats. So I actually got um, some actual, like, good mut mutations i got egghead which is supposed to put my intelligence up my strength down you know i used the gun the shotgun but it should be okay marsupial i bought that from like the vendor to where you can jump higher and you get 20 plus uh carry weight but it's a negative intelligence but that plus six is kind of negate that the unstable isopod they'll be able to from they not like attacking if you if they attack you then you might give them like uh like a disease or something i guess so I got those. So this is how, how it looks so far. And that's how much caps I got. Perk coins, Boolean, and Legendary Script. I had way more, but I was I bought a bunch of weapons trying to 
and get a better shotgun. So what I did, let's go to my items. It's items, yeah, my weapon. So I actually, what's my my freezing one here? So this here, I bought this from the from the atomic shop. It freezes the the uh, person that you shoot, the thing that you're shooting at. So you get times four ammo capacity, which it went up to eight. 50 damage to the to the people that are frozen and it's, it's freezing or reduces the target's movement speed so this is good for like the one of the last episodes i had when i was fighting on the big bat boss lady so uh i went ahead and i put some actual mods on it to make it be as you see on the side because it's it's a decent gun um i wish i had it got it at like level 50 but they only give it to you at 45 i think it's the highest it goes it's okay i guess but this is all the mods i got to get it to do what it does i wish because it actually um that the actual the reload rate is decent decent and i wish it had more like capacity than just eight but it doesn't so this one here is quad f around and find out c bat shoddy so this is the one that i made so i'm gonna probably take off the scope because it, it kind of messes me up so what i did is i took a regular um shotgun level 50 right i actually made it and then I had some modules, some legendary modules and stuff. So I was able to actually, and I had some script, I think modules and another legendary thing that that let you roll the different um, things on, the, well, the different legendary things that you get. So uh, I did it a couple times and that's why I don't have a bunch of the mod stuff left. I, I, I get 300% ammo capacity. So that gives me, I think I had like eight, and I got 34, which is great. I wish I could get this on the other one, but I can't put any any mods on a gun that I got from the Atomic Shop. Don't let me do it. So you got 50% critical damage. That's great too. Uh, 250 damage resistance while reloading. That's decent. I don't see. I won't mind seeing because I, I I use it. It is okay, but I gotta take that take that that, that long scope off because it kind of messes me up because it goes into like sniper mode and it's not good oh yeah so this so this gun is decent oh and the fixer this is the level 50 one so the one that i used before you guys think was level 30. i went ahead and start Foundation putting and those raiders up at crater just don't get along they want to take everything we've worked for okay yeah yeah so um i went ahead and put some mods on it i did it run it through it the 90 90 weight from the gun is great because the gun was heavy so that's good they replenished 15 percent actions with each kill that's great i just wish i had like it, it did more more like damage man um the, the projectile thing i don't like that i tried to keep rolling it nothing so i got two good good things out of three so it's not like that legendary i would want but it works wow so i'm only level 60 something but i'm trying to get to level 75 okay so let's go ahead let me tell you so i'm gonna go ahead and go into perks so these are the perks i got the cars that I'm running, which is the, the basher, I just need to put something there, but I'm probably going to take, when I get more there, I'm going to take the basher off. Wait, okay, so we're going to take the basher off. I'm going to put on this because I have a bunch of stem packs and stuff, and I only, I'm only carrying it less now because I don't have, because I'm not running around with the pack rat, which had a jump me less. So I'm going to run this, so I, I got to probably find, you know, level up two more times to add two, so at least my stem packs and stuff um way less so we don't have so i just changed it out in front of you so now we're able to get the legendary perks so right now i'm running um agility which is is two in agility and two perk points or whatever so caps off at 15. i have the percept i think i was trying to get the strength and i ended up getting the perception one which i think that's good to have and uh, let me see what they say so these are the different so i haven't i didn't get these yet so they do different things and i felt like i didn't really want to do any of this stuff but i got this one which is to be able to unlock um uh, to auto unlock stuff and and stuff like that but i think when i get to like the next level so it says here auto unlock skills zero terminals and locks but plus three uh lock picks and hacking skills so uh so here so i can do it so even at number one is it's op so i can i can i can use this when i go to unlock um stuff but to auto do it right to do the terminals to do level one terminals and level one 
locks to auto do it by itself. I have to constantly keep getting these little coins and stuff like that, which is over time. But the auto unlock, I'm not worrying about. But just having this on as the lock pick in hacking skills at plus three, where you can unlock all three three versions, is great. So I'm, I'm trying to get level 75 so I can put this back on. So out of all the other stuff I didn't get, but I'll probably go and check through them, but they're different ones. So I ended up getting the perception one also. Um, I got the, the, the perception and the, and the and the agility, which over time I'll start, you know, adding to it or whatever to add my different cards. But for now, um, that's what I got. I haven't really dealt with any of these things yet, but I'm probably going to try to deal with the ones that have to do with either ammo or um, attack pretty much. So I'm running the shotgun, obviously, as we see. Uh, I just got the skeet shooter, which your shotgun have improved accuracy. I, I got it at 200 at. That's great. Uh, I just added this on because I needed something at the moment about the food and stuff. I, and the chemicalism, I, I added another one to that because if I see it, I eat it. I can have more energy or a lot of life. Inspiration, I keep it on when I'm in a group because I give you 15% uh, 15, 15 more XP for other people plus myself. Uh, gain two charisma for each teammate, excluding myself. If I got three other people in the in the group of four, I get six extra charisma, which is great, because um, right now I'm at 10, so that made me have 16. So if I do like charisma checks and stuff, I'm gonna always be above it. A stranger in numbers. You must run this if you have mutations. Uh, if you have good mutations, Good mutation it says positive. Let's go ahead and make it bigger. Uh, positive mutations effects are 25% stronger if, if teammates are mutated too. So if I have other people that are mutated, our effects is stronger by 25%. So I didn't see anybody. I, I, I gotta go check to see if they have, because if they have things, then my effects that I have will go up by 25%, which I didn't even check because I just added, added myself. So you must have that if you're running in, in teams and have mutations. I have three mutations, but we'll get to the to the uh, luck thing later, and I'll explain how that works. Traveling agent. Oh, oh my goodness! I'm clicking on stuff. So traveling agent is just you pay 30% uh, fewer caps when you travel places that's not in your friend group. Great tenderizer. So it says make your target receive. 10% more damage for 10 seconds after your attack. So this goes great, I think, with the enforcer or with the adrenaline one. Cause that when you especially when you're like use it on the shotgun. So it's adding 10 for 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 10 seconds each time I like I guess each time after my attack. So it can go up. That's good to have demolition. I need to add more to that. Okay, it was removed from your team, so people are leaving. Okay, so I need to make this more so that my things that I throw is a little bit better, but for now I only got a 20% extra, which is okay. It's like everybody's leaving. Like, let me check, see what's going on. It's just two people, me and somebody, what's my else to add themselves? Okay, let's go back to what we were doing. Okay, so we went over those two, travel agent. Okay, scrapper, I got it on because I scrap everything. You can take it off if you want. I keep it on because I'm, I'm always gathering things and scrapping it. Gunsmith, I have it at max. Right, because the gun breaks 50% slower than, than you can craft uh, tier five guns. Well, with like plans, I think, yeah. So my tier five is level 50. So so most of my guns now that I get are like level 50 guns, which is great. And it depends on what guns that you're running, you're also able to, to craft those as level 50. So I, so I keep it on me because of the breaking slowly. So I have to always have to have a, have a, have a repair kit on me or have or have to go back to or find a find a weapons bench or anything like that. Okay, so action boy, you get this in the beginning of the game. So I'm running action. My action point will generate 45% faster. It don't really seem like that's what it's doing, but it's doing that, I guess. Marathon runner, I need to max this out. So right now I'm sprinting my sprint and it can consume 20% fewer action points. I need to put two more into this to where it can be 40%, meaning that it'll go a lot slower than what it does. Enforcer. This is great. This goes with the shotgun build. Your shotgun gains 15% stagger chance and a 30% chance to cripple a limb. So what I do when I use my Vax, I try to try to hit the legs on most of the, of the of the enemies so it can slow them down. But I can really like give it to them, you know. What do you mean by that? Uh, next one, sneak. I just got this on, so it's 25% uh, 25% harder to detect by sneaking. I might max this out because this is for when I use 
uh, my fixer, which is right now I got the, the got the fixer and the two shotguns. I'm probably not really using the fix. I'm probably gonna have a separate, I'm probably gonna buy like a separate slot so I can start a fixer build because I don't have any of my stuff in perception for the fixer, but it'll Sunny make it where I can use that a little bit while I'm sneaking around because that actually give me, I think that give me 100% sneak. So I really don't need this car. I think as long as I'm using the fixer, I get 100% sneak. Mark it on the map. Adrenaline. This is what we're talking about. Okay, so getting 10% max of 60% damage per 30 seconds per kill. Duration ref refreshes with kills. So every time I kill an enemy, I gain up to 60% extra damage for 30 seconds. So say if I'm if I'm if I'm in a horde and I'm shooting, shooting, killing, killing, shooting, shooting, killing, killing, right? Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's a 22. Okay. Pew pew pew. My damage just keep going up. So this actually mixes with tenderizer, right? So this tender right here, that's 10% extra damage 10 per uh, every 10 seconds after my attack. So if you add that in, that's 60, that's 70% already. Plus, plus the 20% here, 20% here, 20% here, that's already 60, right? So I got 60% there. So that's 130% already, right? 100, 130% of, a, of attack and then you know, my shotguns way less and I can reload 30% faster so this is a good setup it's not like everybody else's I think some people have some of this stuff I was looking to try to get Attention something to close to all the other bills but I want to kind of like try to see if I can make my own Please it's not working out that area. well I don't have like like the greatest legendary yet but thank you for your so back to this so I've just been talking bro because I've, I've been going so right now we're at 24 minutes and I've just been talking about my setup which I'm probably gonna make this a separate video I might make this a separate video so class freak so I went oh crap oh that's not what I wanted oh wait so class freak so this here it says the negative effects of your mutations are reduced by if you had a first slot 25 percent right so this is when you're looking for positive mutations because you are able to, because if you go into the, into the, to the water, if you go into nuclear waste, you can, you can get things that can mess your build up. So I end up putting all three points into this to where it reduces by 75%, which is letting me get better uh, mutation, which is the ones I showed you earlier. I'm still looking for more, more mutations to make my, my build stronger. And then we got the Stars Gene. So Stars Gene, what it is, Looks is like we get the first one. There's less chance for you to mutate from rads or for a rat away to cure mutation. So I got two. I maxed it out. So it said you will never mutate from rads right away. Will never cure mutation. So what 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 I what I do is I learned from other people is when I'm looking for a new mutation, I take Stars Genes off, and I have a barrel at my house, which takes a little bit longer than you just. Going and going into some nuclear waste, but it works. So, and then when I find what I want, now you can you can use the right away to, to take things off, but I haven't took anything off yet um, because I don't because right now they're a net positive, and then I put it back on and I go ahead and keep class freak on. I mean, I can take it off and add something else, but I don't really see a point. So these are all the things that I that I'm running at the moment. I'm not running the best. This is probably say my be my beginning end game build. So we're gonna see where I make it when it's t when I get like over like level one one hundred because right now I'm only like sixty something. So with that said, like I said, I'm probably gonna make this like the like just a side video, not the main video. So I just went ahead and show what my build is like and what the things that I ran since my last um, video upload. Uh, I grind a bit. I went ahead and got Fallout first. That was the first thing that we talked about. The second thing I think was uh, my mutations. The third thing was what guns I was running, I believe. And the fourth thing was what my perk cards were that I'm running at the moment before level 100. Hey, anyway, this has been your boy, you want a fresh cup of Joe? OXD. God, Hope yes. you hit that like button. All smash. Right. Some on when I'm down there next. To subscribe. And leave a comment. This has been your boy. I'm out. Light blaze of glory, got the text to change her own mandatory. Now the next city's looking at the day. I'm the trigger happy demon. Don't fuck with Lin Quake.